So we're headed into our wild card game. We made the postseason for the second time in a row. So we are four victories away from being able to raise that beautiful trophy again. And it all starts with this first game right here, right now. Now, if I'm going to lose, let it be now. I don't want to lose in the Super Bowl or the game before the Super Bowl. If for whatever reason I'm going to lose, I want it to be now. Don't let me get deep and then lose. Cause that just hurts. That's painful. I don't want to get close and then lose. So, of course, I don't want to lose. But if I do, let it be now. But hopefully, we can go on ahead and put on a good performance and win. As we go on ahead and we take a look at our opponent's lineup. And, of course, I'm hoping he just started his team yesterday. I don't like playing good teams. I don't like playing good players. I like playing bums because they're equal to my skill level. A bum should be able to play a bum. So that's why I want to get matched up with bums because that's what I am. And I like I like it to be an equal playing field. So here we go. Defense first drive. And, of course, uh, we do get ball at halftime. But look at Jack. Him going absolutely. Him with the interception. Eat some dirt, son. as Jack. Him goes on into the end zone, scoring on the second play of the game, forcing an interception, taking it back for six, putting points on the board before our offense even sees the field. Now that right there is, oh, oh another dropped interception. Well, not another, but another uh, good defensive play. So here we go on defense, already feeling good, considering we got that pick six, and we got our first lead, and our offense hasn't even seen the field yet. Nice pass, but another dropped interception by Stonehand Cam. And you can definitely expect a ton of those when uh, you're talking about Cam Chancellor with this catching being so low. But between Cam and Ham and all these other names that rhyme, you know, we're doing pretty good. He just chucks it up, holds for a prayer, and there he goes again. Stonehand Cam. Right here he goes over the middle, and he makes a tremendous spinning catch in the middle of the field. Continuing his drive now that right there would have been a huge stop giving us good field position But unfortunately, we were unable to get the necessary stop. He runs the ball right there He gets very close to a first down So on third and two he calls a play action and he gets the ball off just before the pressure gets to him forcing a fourth down Where he does end up settling for a field goal taking his points So that right there to me is definitely a good defensive stand again two drives two good jobs right here We got Hester whoop and we get another, another first time we touched the ball. We scored. Devin Esther could go all the way. We've been able to touch the ball twice. And on two times, we've been able to touch the ball. We scored both. Our offense still has not been able to see the field. And look at us being able to read the screen. Beautiful play right there. You know what to do with that big fat butt. Wait -o, wait -o, wait -o. We get three touchdowns without our offense seeing the field. Is that a record? We get a pick six to start the game. Then he scores a field goal and he kicks it off. And then Devin Hester turns into prime time mode and takes it back for six. The ensuing possession, we end up getting another pick six. Our offense has yet to see the field, yet we are up 21 to zero. So far, so good, definitely feeling good about our chances on being able to win this game. We're being able to capitalize on those mistakes right there. Nice read by him, throwing over deep towards the right side, gets a huge catch, puts him within the red zone, and gives him an excellent opportunity to go on ahead and score. So uh, hopefully we, you know, we definitely want to be able to prevent that, but he does a nice little comeback route, routes right in the middle of the field, putting him at about the three-yard line where he does end up scoring on that play right there. And he does end up going for two, which he is successful with towards the back left corner of the end. Well, not the back left, but, you know, somewhere like around, you know, 10 o'clock, he ends up scoring. And uh, it is now a 10-point game, but we feel good. We get ball at half, so we definitely like our opportunities to be able to win this game. So right here, we run towards the outside with McCoy, who I always say is such a monster. Uh, besides that fumbling issue, man, I'm telling you, the kid is a monster, but he has this issue right here. He fumbles. He fumbles often. So far this season, he's I want to say he's fumbled close to 10 times for me that I've been able to play with him so far. And I've played less than uh, 20 games with him. He's fumbled close to 10 times already. It's ridiculous. 
<laughs> like, it wasn't a huge head-on hit stick. It was a side hit where he got shoved, and he just fumbled. Now, luckily, we have a 10-point lead, and we get ball at halftime, so things are... But then he does things like this. Just shreds all tackles, and is Man, <sighs> man, man, man. You know what? He just... I don't, I don't know. I can't call it. I can't call it. I do get worried about running the ball with him. I honestly do. When I hand the ball off to him, I am worried that he will put the ball on the ground. But he's such an amazing, spectacular running back. You shouldn't feel worried about running the ball with him. But unfortunately, what he's been able to show that he just can't take a hit. And he puts the ball on the ground way too much for my liking. And, explo and as explosive as he is, I get worried sometimes. Look at them pancakes, though. Has made up scoring a touchdown. So, like, thankfully that fumble did not cost me, you know, the game. Because the one loss that we did have this season, I think it was in week two or week three. I'm not sure. But you guys can scroll back and uh, take a look at it. I think uh, I think we titled the video um, Limited Edition Fumbleitis, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure. But um, we... Could have, we had a game time drive, you know, in the works, and he fumbled. And that right there definitely cost me the game. So, so far, it looks like, you know, it's not going to cost me the game. But fumbles are always a very, very, very frustrating thing to deal with. But like I said, thankfully, and, and uh, you know, we've been able to get ourselves a good lead where it didn't come back to hurt us. So, 28 to 11 right here with just under uh, 230. Remaining left in the game, fourth down right here. He ends up going over the middle, but we definitely uh, made sure that area was congested because he's been hitting us over the middle uh, for that entire drive. So we made sure we stocked up with uh, defensive routes over the middle just to be able to prepare for that. And at this point, we pick up the first down. All we need to be able to do is just kill the clock, and we will be heading off to the next stage of the playoffs, making us three victories away from the Super Bowl which I'm going to try my best to get that ready for you guys tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys are, you know, looking forward to that. I am going to start my new season today uh, with, you know, the new additions, which is uh, Deerdorf and Rod Woodson. So expect the gameplay for that. Uh, possibly tomorrow as well. I'm not sure, but it may as it may be tomorrow as well. So. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, you know, go on ahead and if you made it this far in the video, man, represent that by hitting that like button. It takes two seconds out of your day. You know, we uh, played this game, which takes 40 minutes. We edited this bad boy and commentated it and, you know, slapped on a little nice little instrumental for you guys. And it's in over, it's over an hour process, man. So if you got two seconds extra, you already watched the video. So trust me, you don't got to do a damn thing. You already watched the video. It's already enough. You can be like, yes, I already watched the video. I have to like it too. You don't. You absolutely don't. But... If you want to take those two extra seconds, it's greatly appreciated. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, GS. We're going to be signing out. Peace!